Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking you through an overview of desk time, what your employer sees, and I'll show you how to bypass it later on. So right now we have the dashboard that the employer sees as soon as they log into the account to monitor all of their employees. Here we have a list of all of the team members, and this is where your name will show up along with all of the productivity times when you join, things like that. So when you start desk time, you got to choose a project. This, these projects are created by your employer. I've created this one called test and now we'll be going on to your actual desk time statistics. So your employer is able to view all of the product productive apps you've been on, all the websites, all the unproductive ones and your time at work, things like that. So they can generate reports based upon this. This is how they can flag you. And this is exactly what I'm going to teach you to bypass. So let's get started. Okay hey guys, so today we're going to be using lazy work to bypass desk time. This app works with a lot of other time trackers and I found it to be the easiest. So lazy work is pretty simple. All you need to do is download it and there's a simple mode and an advanced mode. I'll be showing you the advanced mode for today, but you can do this at simple mode too. So right now I have mouse scroll keyboard and mouse click settings on. Actually I will turn mouse click off. Um, and I've also have browser interaction enabled. This will change tabs in between my browser. So I'm going to be setting it to the medium setting and I'll be minimizing lazy work, putting it into hidden mode by pressing the control O key and I'll start desk time. And then once desk time is started, I'll click the control plus one key to start lazy work. Once lazy work is started, it'll automatically move my mouse for me. It'll move, it'll type on my keyboard and it'll go through my tabs that I have open. So I've sped this clip up and you can see it switching through different tabs. It can fool time trackers like this. So it, I take screenshots. It's undetectable. And I'll show you later on what the reports look like. All right, so I'm going to refresh the page and I see that it's 10 minutes now that I've worked and I can see all of the productive apps and one of the unproductive apps which I previously tried last time which is YouTube. So as you can see my activity productivity jumped up from I think 11% to 61% and this is just using the medium setting. You don't want to be too overly productive and this gives it a good range. So this is the easy way to bypass desk time and Thanks for watching guys.